to the special through the keyhole. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here! Special! <laughs> now it's time to go around our next celebrity home. So let's go through the keyhole. Word, I've come to the Northern Riviera just outside Liverpool to the seaside town of Southport where I'll be going through Keel of this sweet Scouse house. Come on, let's get inside and snoop this coop. So, as I guide myself through the front door, I immediately come across this hallway, which isn't a large hallway, it isn't a small hallway, it's a medium-sized hallway. There's four doors that lead to different portals or worlds or the living room. And I have a strong sense that the living room is just through here. Where they keep all their junk, that's not the living room. I have a strong sense, actually, that the living room is this way. Oh, I'm doing a poo. Oops, sorry. <laughs> actually, the living room is just through here. Where the kitchen is. <laughs> living room's there. Let's pick up from the top. Because I have a unique keyhole six sensibility, I'm going to take you directly through to the living room. Yeah, there's the living room. By am God. We'll get some lube on there, don't we? <laughs> so here I am in the living room. Come on, let's move our mind, body and soul around it. It's the sub here. There's a picture of Michael Jackson who looks like he's just having a fag break after a long day's moonwalking. <laughs> Shamon. <laughs> Over here, the homeowner seems to have placed a lot of items in this corner. There's a wooden um, frying pan on the wall. There's a cabinet here which is packed to the tits with tat. And there's this oddly placed picture which begs the old age question, what came first, the picture or the cabinet? I won't put it there. That's bad feng shui, isn't it? Is that what it's called, feng shui? You don't put it all there. You can spread it out, don't you? <laughs> So, as you can see, I've closed my eyes because I'm going to use my special keyhole sixth sense to tell me what room I'm in. Don't tell me where I am. <coughs> Oops, there's a cat. There's a cat. I'm sensing there's a cat in the room. There's definitely a cat in the room. Oh, so, I'm on some... There's definitely a table with some sort of ball edge. It's a pool table. games room. <laughs> yeah, so here I am in the games room, which is evidently a man sanctuary. Let's have a look around and see what we can see. This homeowner has an array of red football fodder, and that could be a clue. There's also this television. <laughs> strange that just come on, isn't it? That is strange. Come on, just tippy point on that, though, could you? And over here, there's a human-sized toaster. On the wall here, it's absolutely covered with depictions of the homeowner, and I can deduce that these are fan art done by fans, so obviously this person is dead famous. Oh, this one is on the wonka look. Has anyone got a spirit guide level? Matt, you've got one, cos you're a part-time builder. Oh, that'll do, that's better, isn't it? Can I keep this? I'm going to keep this. I'm, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Neville. Neville the Spirit Level. It's all right, yeah. <laughs> so where should we go next, Neville? Said somewhere else. Anyone else feel the chill coming into the room? You might want to shut the freezer door and put your trousers on, kid. <laughs> this sounds like getting the EBGBs. I started getting sweaty legs. What's that? I'm just making some toast, Keith. What's that? The chicken jar freezer's ready. Who did that? Oh, uh, back to you guys in the studio! Get him, get now over you! <laughs> oh, spooky times. We'll be going back to the VT in a minute, but for you guys at home and our studio audience, but not our panellists, this is whose house it is. I'm going to make them appear behind you. Don't turn around. <laughs> there they are. Don't turn around. <laughs> Stacey! What is your initial observations? Oh, she's going to think it's Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got Houdini, it could be Darren Brown, it could be Mystic Meg, that's all I've got going on in my head. It could be any of those it, people. Well, it's not far off, some of those. I find it really difficult 
when we're watching the VTs, spotting the clues, because I'm fascinated by you. Because <laughs> you're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a scouser, yeah? <laughs> Thank you, Liverpool. <laughs> well, there's only... It's a guy. It's a man. It's a man. Somebody, somebody, <laughs> somebody you just get lots of claps. It's a man. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk oh about... Can and you he's talk football about... mad. It's a sporting person. Well, it obviously it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> what was that full-size toaster thing? Can we talk about that? Yes. Let, uh, well, I mean, a, I, don't a know if that is, I don't know if that is a clue. Was it a tanning booth? You can stand like up in made there it and get a tan. So it's a man, um, <laughs> someone obsessed with Liverpool that has a tanning booth uh, and he's not a sportsman. That's, that's what we know so far. Let's go back through the keyhole. Key. Key. Oh, sorry. I nearly got each stroke then, I think. Aww. And Neville, he's steamed up too. Anyway, I'm back in the room, the bedroom to be Pacific, where there's this, the strangest of all the strangest things in this strange house, a human-sized microwave to go with the human-sized toaster. OK, let's peruse the clues. By window, there's lots of spiritual books suggesting a keen reader, or even an author, perhaps. <laughs> ah! Ah! Don't go wide! What are you going wide for? Now you've revealed them pulling it on fishing wire. <laughs> All this VT would be setting it up like, like it's a haunted house and people would have bought it. A waste of time, me carrying Neville the Spirit Guide now. Absolute waste of time. Have a quick clues recap. Our mysterious celebrity is a fan of tanning with a penchant for sorcery who will never walk alone. Well, unfortunately, we didn't experience any paranormal activity, but they rarely do, and that could be a clue. And as a gesture of goodwill, I've brought this picture from behind the cabinet downstairs. I'm just going to pop it there so they can enjoy it in bed, with just 20% of it hidden there. So, back to you guys in the studio. Hey, who would habit it in a house like this? Something. And, um, in rehearsal today, I genuinely made a cake in my pants when that face came up. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Jimmy, I did. But this is the rehearsal. Watch this earlier today. <laughs> 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 Look, when I'm scared, I do this. <laughs> And then, because and then, I was embarrassed, I went, oh, look at my feet. <laughs> Stacey, what clues did you pick up on? Picked up on the ghosts. <laughs> yeah. OK, yeah, that's it. I retire. You, you, <laughs> Tony, what are you thinking? I've honestly, I've watched every single, you know, series, episode of this, and I've so far never got anyone, anybody right yet. Really? How come you came on the show, then? <laughs> I think you know, don't you? I, I think you know. I want you to get one right. What? Well, you also can't read. <laughs> so... <laughs> Derek Okora. That's correct! <laughs> the man who talks to spooky gods is the famous spiritualist that is Derek Okora! <laughs> we'll be talking to Derek after the break. Then we'll also be going to California for our last Through the Keyhole. See you in a bit. There's some spears for backstabbing, if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Through the Keyhole. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here! Battle! Before the break, we popped round to Derek Akara's house. Our panellists correctly guessed it was Derek Akara. So, Derek Akara, the finest UK spiritualist, please come through the keyhole! <laughs> He's the finest. 
<laughs> you, you, are the, you are the finest UK medium. How does it feel to be the finest? Feels great if I am. You, you are, you are, you are the finest. Is your house haunted? No, it's not, Keith. I... What was that thing at the end, then? I don't know. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's, yeah. it's not haunted, it never has been haunted. But what we do get is what we call visitation. That's totally different. Is this it from is social when... services? No. <laughs> <laughs> because that's a different thing. We've yeah, all had that. That's a different thing, yeah, really. Sure. Jimmy, do you believe in ghosts? Well, it's, it's actually easy to tell if your house is haunted. It isn't. <laughs> <laughs> you get the option to be a ghost. Yes. Do, can you just oh, die and that's oh, it? You, you can pass and not come back into this atmosphere. This is your Who choice. Who decides? You decide. You deci would you come back as a ghost, Mylene? And would you have that white bikini on? Look, <laughs> <laughs> sure. no, it's really interesting. I want to talk it about possession. Ooh, possession. Yeah. Is that real? Have you seen possession? Oh, absolutely. Have you been possessed? No, never. How, how do you get possessed then? Well, when a spirit person decides to um, use you, the individual, as a host, and they come in, generally from the back area, in. <laughs> 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 Oh, Derek. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Derek, hang on. <laughs> What's been happening in that sauna? No, just... <laughs> what happens if you don't oh, want someone thing. coming in the back area? <laughs> Will you just yeah. explain to Joe Swash that that's not what you signed up for? <laughs> this might sound a bit weird, but I don't believe in ghosts, but I've seen one. Yeah. That sounds weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell him, tell him. Just something hovering, you know, just hovering there and just suddenly disappeared. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I can't well, explain that, That's it. a spirit person who's in the atmosphere yeah. that hasn't actually made the decision to leave our atmosphere. Just a spirit person, it's just not just hovering a about. Yeah. <laughs> that's all it is. Is it, is it, or is he at a funny age? <laughs> <laughs> Derek, Derek, we've got to talk about your house. We talk about ghosts all night. <laughs> um, the picture you have uh, behind your cabinet where you can only see, uh, like, 20% of it, really. Oh, yes. W w why don't you just move it so you can appreciate the art, Derek? Yes, I don't know why we've not got round to change uh, Well, I'll tell you what, I saw that and I thought, look at that side there, you could put a wonderful 20% of another picture there. So I've got you a well, gift. I've got you a gift so, yeah. I've got you that Fantastic. That's nice. 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 Yes, beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I've got another gift for you. Okay. It's the through the keyhole keyring. There it is. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I talked all day about those. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Derek Kakar, everyone. <laughs> Thanks very much. How interesting is Derek Kakar? You can talk about it for hours, can't you? And well done on correctly guessing it was his house. Let's see if you can do just as well as we go through the keyhole one final time, all the way to California.